What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here and a huge day for Apple today, software release Christmas. So we've seen iOS 9.3.3, OS 10.11.6, watchOS 2.2.2, even iOS 10 beta 3, but this video is about iOS 9.3.3. Everyone can download it starting from right now, but should you? What's changed? Everything you need to know, you know, the usual. So anyways, I just wanted to mention uh, before and after storage size, but first let me show you that I am running it indeed. Now the interesting thing is that the build number is the very same one as beta 5. So from beta 5 of 9.3.3 to the final release, nothing has changed. This is essentially beta 5. So starting from 9.3.2, this is a uh, current specs, 8.5 available after 8.5. So nothing changed here. So what's actually changed that we can see? Well, nothing. The uh, change log actually just says bug fixes and stability improvements, and that's just what it is. Should you install it to experience those improvements? Absolutely. But I just got to say, if you're waiting for jailbreak, iOS 9.3.3 may not be a very safe bet as it may patch some things or some exploits that were currently available in 9.3.2. So as far as a jailbreak is concerned, you know, the typical advice is stay where you are. 9.3.2 is the safest bet for most people because you can still downgrade to it right now. If you're on an even earlier firmware, stay there because nobody can say what firmware the jailbreak will get released on. So let's take a look at the Geekbench score. I'm gonna go ahead and run one and compare it to the last 9.3.2. I'm very hard pressed to believe there is any improvement to speed as it's literally almost the same firmware. Anyways, let's just run it. All right, so 2568 and 4464. Let's look at the previous one, 2552, 4468. So looks like uh, single core went up just by a little bit but the multi-core went down. So what can I say? It's pretty much the same thing. All right, so one more thing, what's been patched on it? So the circle folders bug still works. We know that the date time trick with Game Boy Advance and other third-party apps still works. So really, you know, you don't have to be worried about anything getting patched. It's in iOS 10 that some of this stuff is getting patched in my respring bug is still working. And out of curiosity here, I just wanted to see on my personal device, what the difference was after updating 73.7 .7 available to 74.3. So it did clear just a little bit on a 128 gig device. So a lot of people are asking me about the skin, sorry, but unrelated. It's a toast wood skin. It's the number one thing people ask, but it's like falling apart because I don't, I don't treat it well, you know, I don't really care, just throw this thing around. But yeah, that's that. And very last thing, just wanted to see if uh, the landscape bug was patched, which it is. Hey, it's looking very good. So very fluid much better than it was on the last one. For some reason, I was experiencing that, but good stuff. All right, so uh, guys, yeah, that's it. iOS 9.3.3 is out. Upgrade with caution, unless, you know, you don't want a jailbreak. Of course, then it's the natural thing to do for any iPhone user. Have a great day, guys. Stay tuned for the iOS 10 beta 3 update. It's gonna be good, trust me. So uh, yeah, I'll have that up in just a little bit. Peace.